Yo, what's going on, my people? We're back, full swing. Glad to be back on here making YouTube videos again. Um, this week's message is going to be real, real cut and dry, too. Um, I think there's a lot of artists that put these self imposed limits on what they can and can't do. And then they kind of use those to justify why something isn't going the way they want whether it's in their art career or even outside, like just their life sometimes, right? And I'm not here to say that like everyone should just magically switch their mindset, right? That's not how it works. I understand that's not how it works. But there are times where you're you're kicking yourself more so than maybe you need to. Like you're, you're keeping yourself down more so than these external circumstances, right? Um, now, for instance, let's talk about uh, the elephant in the room with AI, right? And being a beginner artist in an today's day and age is it's hard it's one of the hardest things i think uh younger artists are gonna have to face um but and here's the thing that i always stand on bro it's always going to come down to quality okay quality and it's, and, and it's also going to come down to who who made it people are going to care about your stuff but if you don't have the mindset that people aren't going to care about your stuff then how you expect anyone else to care about your stuff for real? So it starts there. It starts with the mindset that, hey, listen, I'm doing this thing. I like doing this thing. It really starts there. I like doing this thing. If I like doing this thing, right, I'm willing to bet someone out there is going to enjoy me doing this thing too, right? I mean, we enjoy watching athletes play football, play basketball, play baseball, whatever. We enjoy, you know, video games that game devs produce. We enjoy people singing. We enjoy hearing singers, you know, we enjoy hearing you know, our favorite musicians in general, we enjoy seeing a lot of people uh, excel at what they do. We enjoy seeing people in their element, right? It's no different with art. And I feel like, again, it's going to come down to you have to believe that you matter. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's hard, right? It's hard with how things are going nowadays. But I'm standing on the fact that with, with how art is and the nature of it, people care more about you than a generated image right this is what i stand on um and I've, I've seen artists you know again kind of take the fence where it's like uh well i mean what's the point if, if ai is just gonna you know be better than me it's like why is why is that the point of it all right like i've never really got the whole like like it's, it was never about ai being better i mean there are there are artists who i don't think are that good that are popular they're doing something right they're it, they're they're being themselves they're pushing something out there that people enjoy Art isn't always about who's the best artist, bruh. <laughs> it's not. Like, there are so many ways to excel at being an artist without being Leonardo uh, uh, da Vinci or without being uh, Mark Brunette or Kim Jong G, I think is what his name is. I I, I, I probably butchered that. I apologize. But there are way more, there, there's way more to it than that. Like, kind of have to, to understand that, listen, what you're doing here, what, whenever you put yourself, think about it like this. Whenever you have a goal, whenever you're, you know, just working hard at anything, that is going to get you some net benefit, whether it's working on your discipline, leveling up your skill, monetary gain, or maybe fame, right? Any of those things. You're going to get one of those things. And it's like, that's always going to be great for your character. Like, art is about, you know, building character, too. And I'm not trying to, you know, dismiss a lot of people's struggles because a lot of people kind of like to, to equate all of what I'm saying to a singular point. And that's not really what I'm saying. I'm just saying you have to believe that there is value in what you're doing first, because you can't expect anyone else to if you don't. And then from there, it's a matter of, of, of putting the work in and also re recognizing that there, there's it's, it's not just about how good you get, you know? Like, I've, I'm really a big fan of, like, art communities, right? And I get that, like, nowadays, it's one of those things where a lot of people are yearning for art communities. I, I think I got pretty lucky with how I found mine. But at the same time, I've always kind of outreached and tried to, you know, be friendly with folks that I like and, like, their art and whatever the case. Like, I've always been like that, you know what I'm saying? If I like someone's art, I'm going to let them know that, you know? And I think, like, a lot of people sometimes overthink the community thing. You know, it's not hard to just leave a comment, say something specific about what you like about someone's piece and don't expect anything in return. Like, that's the big thing is don't expect things in return. That's not how you build a genuine friendship or even how you build a community. You have to, like, just enjoy the art for the art itself, man. That's kind of where it, where it comes down to with the community stuff, you know. Um, and again, there's more steps, right? I think I should make a video about this in depth, but I think it comes down to that, you know, like there's more aspects to art than just how good you are. 
And I think we, we misconstrue like the whole art journey for, oh, I just need how fast I'm developing. You know, it's not just about how fast you develop, bro. If, if it was just about how fast I developed as an artist, I don't think I would enjoy it as much, man. Sharing the journey is always fun. Talking about, you know, the struggles or the tribulations that I, I, I conquered in this art journey is fun. You know, sharing my experiences with you guys is fun. Talking about art is fun. Experiencing art is fun. You know, it's way more than just, OK, I got better this week, even though that's an important piece. I'm not dis missing that. But dude, there's so much more. Um, so, again, it comes down to you have to recognize that, number one, you do have value, but you have to believe that. If no one has told you that, then, then I'm going to tell you that it, it has value. And we can get into like a conversation later about, you know, how to market your value to to appeal to others. Right. Whether it's through YouTube or whether it's through, you know, some sort of social media platform or whether it's through, you know, games or comedy or, you know, maybe you're combining mediums to, you know, you know, like with animation and music or whatever the case is, man, there are so many ways to express yourselves with art and don't just hang your 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 towel on the on the on the wall of how good you are because you're shooting yourself in the foot. And so I think I think we just operate in these self-imposed blockades as artists. And it's like, bro, like art has always been about thinking outside the box. And it's always been about expression. Like start with why you even enjoy it, man. Like if you don't even like art, why are you doing it? You know, like I'm not I'm not trying to like dissuade people from doing it. But it's like I've seen comments where people are like, I hate this. Don't do it. What are you doing? If there's way more things you could do that you don't hate. Don't don't spend your time doing something you hate. But if you actually like this stuff, then you'll recognize that, hey, man, I may not like this right now, but I know there are going to be days that I love it. All of that stuff, all of the emotions that you have are very, very temporary. You're going to have ebbs and flows when you're an artist. That's just how it is because we're humans, you know. But anyways, I don't want to get too far down that rabbit hole. Um, point of the, the whole video, and I, I apologize for it kind of being rambly, but you have value. Don't box yourself in. You know, you can definitely be your idols or your heroes or whoever man they're all humans too so that's what you guys have in common is that both of you guys are humans so if that human could do it you could do it too don't put the self-imposed box on your art oh i can't do it because i don't like uh, or I, I don't like my art style or my art my art style is this my art style is that listen art styles can change art styles do change skill sets evolve grow you're only gonna get better so believe in yourself a little bit more and i apologize for sounding corny but believe in yourself a little bit more that, that, that's really all i have to say um hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day night or whatever i'll be back next week with another video um got something special for you guys uh i released bing bonds prison palace last week uh on my birthday june 16th you know hooray for me and it's out you know uh give it a try if you uh, like visual novels uh it's a death game visual novel so for those of you that like danganronpa uh, that might be up your alley but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get off for real please keep what i said in mind folks i try to not uh be disingenuous with how i feel this is how i've been feeling for a minute when i see a lot of these negative comments and you know people who are like quitting art and you know people who are are, are angry at where they're at like no 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 i i I understand the frustration, but there are certain things where it's like you, you can't control everything. So stop trying to control everything and control the things you can control, you know? So anyways, uh, sorry for it being rambly again. I apologize, but you guys take it easy. I'll talk to you next week. Peace.